Hello, Leo, my awesome lions and lionesses. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing wonderful. Guess what? It's Friday. Leo, I'm so happy for us. I hope you're going to have a beautiful weekend with your loved ones. Have some leisure time to yourself as well. Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Leo, what you'll be dealing with, facing, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Leo. Leo, remember, this is a general reading, which means that it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not resonate with you, make sure you check out the videos for your uh, moon sign and your rising ascendant sign. Uh, so I noticed that the universe picks groups of uh, people, depending what uh, each group is going through. So not all Leos are going through the same experience right now, just like any other sign. So let's see which group it is for. If it's not resonating with you this time, uh, check out the videos for your rising sign and your moon sign. Let's do this, Leo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Leo? What will Leo be dealing with facing in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on the soulmate journey? How is Leo currently doing on the soulmate journey? And what's coming towards fabulous lions and lionesses? Let's see. Oh, Leo, you're being very patient with your soulmate situation. This is you looking at everything very objectively, taking your time, pondering, thinking, analyzing, being patient. Um, yeah. Ooh, you really love this person. You view them as marriage material. You're not sure if that's what's going to happen, but that's how you view them, as somebody who is grounded, somebody who is worthy of a relationship. Wow, you're very much heavily concentrating on your job business. You're doing a lot at your work, whether you work for yourself or somebody else. You are extremely uh, concentrating on finances, profit, uh, financial stability in the future and now yeah <clears throat> wow communication issues are indicated here between you and your soulmate there is no communication to speak of for some of you sporadic few words here and there then silent treatments this is you not knowing what to do about your soulmate relationship whether you should wait on them to communicate or if you should reach out to them Yeah, communication is heavily on your mind. You feel there's a great need to clear the air with this person, but you're scared. You're not reaching out. You're fearful. You're not sure how they're going to react. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's going on with them. Uh, in a few minutes, we're going to ask about their energy. This is you feeling a great need to communicate with this person, but you guys are not really uh, extending the olive branch towards each other yet. Uh, some of you sporadically communicating few words here and there, but nothing of major uh, communication showing up here at all. Actually, silent treatment showing up here. You know, please show us what's coming towards Leo and how is Leo currently doing on the summit journey? Yeah, you want to take action towards this person. This is you. You're very much uh, showing up as attractive and um popular at your job or business, people look up to you, view you as successful, view you as diligent worker, bringing profit in. People are drawn to you. Yeah, you really want this person in your life, Leo. This has been nerve-wracking for you, though. It's like has been in and out connection between you two. This person is very guarded towards you, so they're already showing up in your reading, even though we didn't ask about them directly yet very guarded towards you emotionally they either walked away from you or told you something harshly you see look how guarded they are 
Look at their stance towards you. They want to communicate with you big time. They want to clear the air with you, but they're showing up as extremely guarded with their heart towards you, with their feelings. Yeah, very guarded. This is you hoping to get communication from this person. This is a stressful situation between you two. Yeah, you miss this person. This is you missing them, feeling sad, abandoned by them, like they left you behind. Yeah, look how quiet you are. This is you silent, quiet, not communicating. Yeah, silent treatment showing up here. No communication. Wow, this person views you as marriage material. They were hoping that this would work out to be a long-term relationship. That's what they were hoping for, you see? Yeah, look at this. Communication twice from two different tarot decks. There will be communication. This is you hoping that this person will reach out to you first. Hmm. You wanting this person to reach out to you first. Let's see what's going on here. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancerian. Let's see. In about a minute, let's ask about this person. Oh, I just looked on the bottom of the deck. They have very high standards. Empress energy, whether they're male or female, doesn't matter what their gender is. We're reading energy. So they could be either gender, whichever sign. They have very high standards, Leo. They're going to hold you up to those standards and they hold other people up to their standards. They hold themselves up to those st high standards. So they are interested in you. Leo, which means you are a catch, you see. Universe, please show us what's going on uh, currently with Leo. What's coming towards Leo? How is Leo currently doing on this summit journey? This is you having a lot of fears and unanswered questions. Scared of reaching out first. Not sure how this person is going to receive you. If they're going to receive you in a positive way or not. How they feel. Yeah, this is you having a lot of unanswered questions. Not knowing if you need to wait or reach out to them first. You feel like this person is very important to you. A lot of you are dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, Leo and Taurus. Yeah, you see, you're scared of reaching out first. This is you feeling like, oh my goodness, this is stressful. What do I do next? serious communication issues between you two so the two of you show up with a pattern of not communicating effectively silent treatments few words silent treatments breakups yeah it's it's been inconsistent yeah inconsistent this is you hoping that this person will reach out to you first even though you're holding ace of swords here but it's pointing down you want so badly to reach out but you stopping yourself for some reason Hmm. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo. For Leo's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Leo. The soulmate of Leo. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo currently relating to Leo, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind at this time? My fabulous lions and lionesses. Let's see, Leo. Ooh, this person wants to see you. But this is beautiful. Three of Cups in position one is beautiful. This person wants to see you, spend time with you. This person loves you. They want to socialize with you, spend quality time with you, laugh with you. This is often celebration of something. Also eating dinner together, laughing together, quality time, socializing. They want to see you. Yeah, you see, both of you are restraining yourselves from communicating. This person is disappointed that you haven't been reaching out to them. They feel like you're ignoring them. Like they don't mean anything to you. I think they misunderstanding. The silent treatment between you two brings both of you misunderstanding. Yeah, when people don't communicate... Uh, effectively when they don't have open line of communication they start assuming things guessing things wondering projecting things uh, this person feels like you are ignoring them like 
they don't mean much to you, which is not true, but that's what they're thinking. Uh, yeah, they think you don't care. See, they view you as marriage material. Yeah, they were hoping to have long-term commitment with you. They love you. So they want to offer you some kind of emotional gesture, show you that, yes, they care for you. This also means peace offerings, apologies, explanations, emotional gestures. Let's see the subconscious position. Yeah, I see they want new beginning with you. So you have two aces from them. All aces are great. Although this one shows, because it's pointing down, that they are restraining themselves from communicating on this time, but they know one of you is going to have to initiate this communication to get things going or figure out if this is truly over or not. They want new passionate beginning. This person has a lot of passion for you, very attracted to you, attracted to your energy, how you take care of yourself, how you look, very drawn to you. Yeah, Str strong attraction, big time attraction. Yeah, strong. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo. And how is the soulmate of Leo currently relating to Leo, especially emotionally? Yeah, you see, they want this communication between you two so badly. Look at this. Again, eight of wands, back and forth communication. This communication, whoever extends the olive branch first, whoever initiates this communication first, is shows that this communication will bring two of you uh, some clarity to see where this is possibly going or not going in the future. You see, uh, this communication is absolutely necessary for both of you to see clearly where the two of you are heading or not heading, whether this is going somewhere or not. You see, because you see divine light between eight of wands. This communication, whoever uh, starts at first, whoever initiates this communication first it shows here clearly that this communication will bring clarity to both of you as far as where this is truly heading whether it's heading anywhere or not whether you need to just move on uh, without them or not yeah and vice versa yeah you see this person is at a crossroads they're not sure if they need to wait for you to communicate or if they need to extend the olive branch to you if they need to initiate this communication this is stressful for them see they view you as marriage material four of wands with ten of pentacles lifetime commitment they're not sure if that's where it's heading or not wow this person's single available attractive independent strong-willed they're not interested in anybody else, Leo. No, they're not interested in anybody else. They're interested in you. Yeah. This is like the minor arcana of the Empress energy. This person has very high standards. Very high standards. Uh, so for them to be still interested in you, that means you are a catch. You see, they don't want anybody else. Yeah, you see, they want new beginning. They want new beginning. They're checking up on you. They have a lot that they want to express to you. You see a bunch of birds uh, around them. Bunch of birds in the background, six birds and two birds right around them. You see one here and one here. Blue. Blue stands for uh, throat chakra, which represents communication. But their sword is pointing down, which means they are resisting this communication, you see. Sword pointing down, pointing down. They don't know what to do. If they need to reach out or wait for you, uh, just like you're not sure if you need to reach out or wait for them. See, major change, transformation. So they realize that in order for the two of you to have long-term relationship, which is what they're hoping for, there have to be major drastic changes made in this connection. Things need to be handled differently between you two. You see, look at this. This person may have said something to you, uh, maybe harshly, maybe they were venting, maybe they were upset. Uh, they feel like they need to explain things or uh, come in with some kind of peace offering or apology or something of that nature. They feel like they need to explain something to you. 
maybe they were upset and said something they regret or uh, maybe they feel they walked away too soon. Uh, they have some regrets, emotional regrets that are showing up here. All in all, it shows that this person loves you. Hmm. Very good reading. Bad communication is what's missing here. Let's see. They have a lot of passion for you, Leo. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo. You see, again, at a crossroads. When you add these ones, it becomes three of ones. This person is waiting for you to initiate communication. You see, they want you in their life. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Oh, this is them missing you, reminiscing of you, thinking of you, wanting a reunion with you. Pondering, analyzing this whole situation, going within, doing soul searching, uh, looking at different options. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Cancerian again, Pisces, Scorpio, but they could be any sign whatsoever. This represents Virgo in particular. Hmm. Wow, this was intense, Leo. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you, long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Whatever it is the universe feels you need to know for your highest good, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.